What's going on, everybody? It's your favorite dating coach, Elliot Scott, and you want to know if he's going to regret not committing to you, especially the emotionally unavailable men. Do they do they regret not committing? Do they regret not following through and seeing you know what this could have turned into? We're gonna jump right into this. Okay, so here's the quick answer. Absolutely. Absolutely. I think a lot of the, now, of course, not to all the girls they're talking to, that's just not realistic. But, you know, if he really likes a girl, does he have that sense of, like, like he likes her, I want to commit to her, I can't commit to her because I have this emotional block. Um, does he regret it? 100% they do. They really do. I have a lot of clients who will come to me and they'll say, was any of this even real? Was any of this serious? Uh, he just switched or flipped so fast. Why is that? What happened? And, you know, the good news, I'm um, unfortunate it happened, but the good news is it is genuine for the most part. Now, I'm not saying there's not guys out there who play the game and, you know, um, just want to hit and quit or manipulate. There's that. But if you get a sense that this guy is not a bad guy, that this guy is a decent dude and that he's honest for the most part, um, I do think a lot of the times the things he's saying to you, the things he's doing, the way he's acting, especially in the beginning, it is genuine. It, it does come from a decent place. Now, you might be hesitant on believing that because it's like, well, how could a guy flip so fast? How could a guy you know, be so, so into me one week? And then the next week, it's like it never happened. It never existed. How could someone walk away from that? It's just context, ladies. And if you don't know what context is, it's the things that you guys do and say over time that create this serious vibe in the relationship. And it gets to a point, and again, context always happens. It's 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 neutral. It's not good or bad. It, it, it's, it depends on the people. If we're on the same page and we both want a relationship and we're emotionally available, context is good. You want to build it towards a relationship. But what ends up happening is when two people like each other, especially in the beginning, there's no context. So of course he's gonna say these things, do these things, act this way, what you know, whatever it is. But the you know, it's on a blank canvas. It, it, the picture isn't painted. There's nothing of this relationship. Uh, is it even a relationship? It's just two people who really like each other and they want to enjoy each other's time and you know and, and, and the assets each offers. Um, but of course, to obtain these assets, it comes at a cost. And in the beginning, it's the man's courtship. It's the man investing his resources, time, energy, effort, money, and things like that. And that's the stuff, if we go back to the blank canvas analogy, that's the stuff that, you know, uh, that, that flips the paint on the canvas and the picture starts to get very, very realistic, uh, very vivid. And it's like, oh, wow, holy shit, like this, is really good. I didn't know it was, yeah. And and so then a, a guy reflects on it and he thinks, oh shit. He gets to the point where he feels obligated to give you something. That's what it is, ladies. If you're talking to an emotionally unavailable man, it's never one thing you guys do. Women will come to me and say, oh man, I slept with him too early. Or, oh man, if I, Ellie, if I didn't go on that trip with, with him, would would this have happened? Would I still be talking? Or Elliot, it, it's because we got. I said that one thing, or I was drunk that one time, and, and we got in that fight. It's never one thing. It's never one thing with emotionally unavailable men. It's it's the context. It's the layering. And like I said, it's, it gets to the point where he feels obligated to give you something, which causes pressure, which makes a man uh, second guess these things and pull the way. Because if he stays around, you as a woman, rightfully so, should assume we're on the same page when we're not. Um, now, of course, I wish a guy could communicate that better, but what ends up happening is they don't, and they pull away and start acting uh, very, very different. And then you're confused, and because you're confused, you might be playing the same game with him, which is, well, if he's going to do that shit, I'm going to do that shit, which then, you know, it just dies off. Or you're coming on very strong to try to keep it alive, um, and that's not good either. What you should do if a guy's pulling away is you got to call it out. And if he doesn't change, then you got to cut your losses. I always tell women, you have to get a man to regret losing you, ladies. You know, women, 
the, the title of this video is a great example. Women will always ask me, will he regret it, Elliot? Elliot, will he regret it? Do these guys ever come back and realize how dumb they were? Not if you don't give them an opportunity to. Not if you don't give them an opportunity to miss you. I always say regret is self-inflicted, ladies. You have to get a man to think, it's my fault why I effed up. It's, or why this is happening. It's my fault that I don't have you. I had you in the palm of my hands. We had a good thing going. You were a good ass woman, but I effed up because I had this emotional block and it's caused by me. You have to get a man to believe that. Okay. But if he can come and if an emotionally unavailable man can come and go and do as he pleases and, um, and not, uh, sorry, some roll there. Um, and not, feel the repercussions of what happened, uh, there's no reason for him to regret it. In fact, he can have his cake and eat it too. He would be in the best position possible, so why would he commit? You're not going anywhere. You're conditioning a man to treat you this way. If you want emotionally unavailable men to regret losing you, which will happen, right, but it will only happen under the condition that he truly believes that he lost you. Now, if you want more information on what I just said, you know, like the process a man goes through um, when uh, he pulls away and the chances of him coming back, please check out my guide. I have a, an amazing guide on it. Uh, I actually have a bundle of guides right now, six of them, uh, that will tell you everything you need to know about men, hooking men, being the perfect woman for them, d doing no contact, what they're thinking, all, all the above. Okay, so I'll, I'll leave a link down in the description. Um, but when it comes to these emotionally unavailable men, it's not your job to fix them. It's not your job to try to make it work. You as a woman have to, it's, it's all a negotiation. You are putting yourself on the market and the number one thing that you value is your time. If a man is emotionally unavailable, ladies, I'm not even talking about the topic of the video anymore. If the man is emotionally unavailable, I'm not talking about high value now. If the man's emotionally unavailable, okay, and he can't give you what you want, or he isn't consistent, or is he's not doing what he's supposed to do, then you gotta be like, get the fuck out of here, dude. Like, get out of here. Like, I'm not wasting my time. It's it's not worth it. He has you 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 can't you can't go into a store, you know, and when the price is you know a hundred fucking dollars, you're not going to bargain someone down to seventy dollars. Like that doesn't happen. And like I guess main stores big like you're not going to go into a ferrari you know dealership and say hey i know this is two hundred fifty thousand dollars, but i'll give you 150 or 175 i'll give you 200 they'll look at you like get the fuck out of here you're not the customer we're looking for like you can't afford it you a bit like get out of here you need to be the same way with the dude if a guy is pulling some bullshit and he can't give you what you're looking for and you need to look at him don't say this of course but you need to look at him and say you're just, you got to rub top of his head. You're just not ready, little guy. You're just not ready for it. And, and, and have him regret losing you, okay? But with that being said, ladies, if you want to check out more on that topic, men losing you, men regretting things, the process he goes through, check out this video over here. It tells you everything you need to know, okay? So with that being said, ladies, I love you all. Take care and peace.